why is it important to know that building envelope role in an apartment building is less important than its role in a single family home? One of the functions of the building envelope in a multifamily building and also in any other building is to seal the building against air leakage. That's why when you have openings or penetrations into the building envelope, the air leakage would be higher. And the less air leakage, the better energy performance the building would have. Now, if this is less important in a, an apartment building, what other elements that might jeopardize the air leakage rate of a multifamily buildings? That's a good question, and it's quite relevant, knowing that Again, the importance of the building envelope here is less than here due to the enclosure area to the floor area. Then in the, in the red color or the purple color, I've highlighted all the areas that you need to pay attention to uh, when designing an apartment building. Each of these apartments should be treated as a box, as a sealed box from all sides. And as you know, each apartment has a shared wall with the apartment next door and it also has a shared floor for this apartment a shared ceiling for this apartment with with the neighbors but most um, more importantly this apartment all, all these apartments share a common wall with the hallway or the corridor through which you access uh, the apartments this shared common space is often uncontrolled. It has a lot of air leakage with the outside. And also, through the staircase, there is a lot of leakage due to the phenomenon called uh, stack effect. So all the hot air goes up, and that creates uh, an air leakage through uh, penetration in the staircase itself. The other area where the... Uh, air leakage happens is in common area, amenity areas, like garbage rooms, garbage chute enclosures, mechanical spaces or mechanical rooms on the, on the ground floor or even on the same floor, laundry rooms as well, electrical rooms. All of these have connection with the outside, but also have a connection with the inside through the walls that separates these rooms with a corridor or with a, an adjacent apartment. One of the most important areas that falls in the common corridor areas is the entryway. So the entryway has, if, if there is no vestibule, then once you open the door, all the hot air would go out and then the air leakage rate would increase, affecting all the walls that are in, in close contact with the air that comes uh, through uh, the open door. So the best practice is to have a vestibule. And not any vestibule. The best vestibule would be by the time you open the second door, the, the first door would have been closed. So that you can control your space. If you open two doors simultaneously, there's no point in the vestibule. So these factors are important to notice so that you can have a better performance building, knowing that the building envelope in this case is less important. Now, what do you do with the building envelope it's, itself? Do you ignore it? Not at all. You have to uh, treat it as uh, meticulously or as carefully as you treat a building envelope in a single family home through minimizing penetrations through using fire dampers if you're penetrating it for whatever reason for services electrical wiring ducts data cables and so on and so forth the other uh, thing that i want to draw attention to in order to deal with multi uh, multi-story buildings or apartment buildings is that it's best to have the air ventilation for each apartment contained separately from the rest so the heating and cooling or air ventilation for each apartment is better, be, is better be controlled separately 
than if you have a central system where air leakage, again, due to the fact of the stack effect, just imagine you have five garbage chutes in the building where air leakage becomes much easier to have but harder to prevent. The central heating would be sometimes the only choice, but separate uh, air, air ventilation for each unit with a very controlled air penetration through the uh, building envelope would be a best practice from that perspective. So now let's recap. Number one, you should pay attention to air leakage uh, in both typologies. Air leakage in a building envelope is paramount, it's very important. Second, pay attention to air leakage in apartment buildings in areas that you thought are not necessary to check. Number three, the main entrances must have a vestibule. All the garbage rooms, the gas meter rooms, the laundry rooms, the exterior doors must be weathered, uh, weather sealed, uh, must be uh, the, the barrier between these rooms and the main building would have to be air sealed properly. Minimize penetration to building envelope from the outside. Use mechanical ventilation system for each apartment separately. There are many advantages, as I've just explained, in individual mechanical systems. For example, noise reduction, um, air velocity reduction, because longer the longer the branches are, the less uh, powerful the air would be traveled or would be trans transmitted. Uh, Minimize the stack effect through one deck that goes to all floors and ducts penetrating will jeopardize fireproof assemblies, even with fire dampers to avoid them. So avoid in, in, in general, we try to avoid having a central system for all the apartments and we'd rather have one single mechanical system for each apartment. That's more uh, efficient from the energy perspective because of the air leakage factor. I hope you find this video useful. If you need to connect with us, please press the uh, link below that will lead you to booking an appointment with me and discuss your project from all different aspects. We are specialized in design, efficient design, and if you need to discuss free of charge, feel free to do that by clicking the link below. Thank you very much for watching.